Now taking a look at some news from across the state of North Carolina, a mayor who live streamed a Confederate monument being knocked down in a park last month has called on the governor to investigate and to declare a state of emergency after he said that he and others have received threats. Meanwhile, the town's police chief, as well as a captain and a new recruit, have handed in their resignations. According to the Associated Press and Nextar Media, Enfield Town Commissioners voted in August to remove the monument, which stood in Randolph Park in Enfield, and that was since 1928. Days later, Mayor Mondale Robinson posted a video of a front-end loader pushing over that Confederate monument. Now, he said the statue was a gift to the town, and it's the town's right to destroy a gift that is no longer relevant. Since the removal, Robinson and some black residents have said that they've received threats that included racial slurs. At a news conference, the mayor called on Governor Roy Cooper to declare a state of emergency and deliver resources to the town to ensure the safety of those residents. At the request of the police chief and the Halifax County District Attorney, the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation launched an investigation into property damage. Now, once that investigation is complete, the file will then be submitted to the Halifax County District Attorney. WNCN-TV is reporting that Enfield's police chief, James Ayers, handed in his resignation and gave his two-week notice. Additionally, Captain Corey Bullock, who returned to the department recently, and a new recruit, have also resigned. The 10-foot-high monument with a carved Confederate flag, was erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1928, honoring Confederate War soldiers and World War I veterans. Since that time, inscriptions had been added to honor veterans of other wars.